Welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight I'm going to continue my series of Tampa hand rolled cigars. These are cigars that are rolled right in the cigar shops in Tampa, Florida. Tampa is a huge cigar town, uh, Ybor City especially. And tonight's cigar is from the Long Ash Cigar Shop in Ybor City, Tampa. This is the full body cigar that they offer rolled right in their shop. It's called the Shorty. It is a four and a half <coughs> excuse me, four and a half inch by 60 ring gauge. It's got a uh, Habano sun-grown wrapper, Nicaraguan, Honduran, and Ecuadorian mix of filler tobaccos. Uh, nice rich earthy smell to it. It's got a bit of a mottled coloring to the wrapper. Nice different shades of chocolatey brown. You can see some some veins going on in there. The seams are tight, tight as a drum barely even visible. Uh, it's got a relatively flat top on it. But I'm still going to make a valiant attempt to cut it with a guillotine cutter. Uh, this is the second of the Long Ash Cigar shops choices that I've done. The first one was the Super Duper Toro, which was excellent. Uh, that was a medium body. This one, full body as I said. Been dying to try this. This was the first one I put on my order. Uh, it just, I mean, it looks good enough to eat. But I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to smoke it. Let's see if we can get this thing clipped and lit. Sweet. Mm. Nice mild cocoa flavor on the cold draw. Mm. Now there are a lot of cigar shops in Tampa. Uh, I'm focusing for now on two of them. Uh, I have two other cigars from the Long Ash to review and three other cigars from a, from another shop. And I'm not doing this as any kind of a comparison contest to which is better. It just uh, I have a huge interest in the rolling of cigars and and the quality and what goes into them and these are these are people who live in an area that's that's deeply entrenched in history of cigars and cigar rolling <clears throat> so they're very serious about their craft and uh, so far as I said I've been very happy with, with both of the reviews I've done and I'm really excited about this one And I do have another, uh, two, two other shops in mind that I may be purchasing some cigars from to try in Tampa. And I also have some cigars coming from a, a cigar shop in Missouri. Yes, Missouri. I'm interested in trying those too, also. Mm. 
producing lots of rich smoke. Okay, first taste I get is a nice cedar, deep cedar, it's earthy cedar flavor. And just the tiniest bit of, of uh, white pepper on the finish. And of course, on the retrohale, that pepper is enhanced. Earthy cedar. Off to a good start. Earthy cedar and spice. At the beginning, Let's see what the first third produces. Be back shortly. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area. Tonight with the short shorty. Not the short shorty. The shorty from the Long Ash Cigar Store. Hand rolled on premises at Long Ash Cigars in Ybor City section of Tampa. Well into the first third here. Ash is holding on nicely, about an inch. Nice deep gray. Perfect burn, I mean razor sharp, producing tons of smoke. The main flavor right now I'm getting is a smooth cedar. It's a smooth, deep cedar, and there's a nice baking spice sweetness on the finish. It's just coats the tongue, lasts. It's just delicious, delicious so far. Uh, this is a nice firm cigar. It's got a little bit of give to it. Uh, there are no soft spots in it. As I said, it had has some visible veins in there. But this is a Habano sun-grown wrapper. Uh, it's just burning so nicely. I'm, I'm seriously impressed. I was impressed with the uh, Super Duper Toro. And I'm equally impressed with this. So I'm going to uh, keep smoking on into the second portion. And... See if anything changes. I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back <clears throat> to the cigar area. The Long Ash Shorty. Four and a half by 60. In the second portion of the cigar, the flavor made a jump from smooth, creamy cedar to a nice, deep, leather flavor and that baking spice on the finish changed over to a to a mild cocoa flavor so now we have went from cedar and baking spice to leather and cocoa it's very tasty uh, I lost the ash not too long after I turned off the camera uh, I had about, I'd say a good inch and a half of ash on there. Held on pretty long. Burn, still very straight. Um, produces tons of smoke, as a 60 ring gauge normally does. Oh, wow, what a change in the flavor. And that sweet cocoa flavor lasts, lasts on your tongue, as did the baking spice in the first third. Really nice. Now, uh, Long Ash has this listed on their full strength page. Um... 
I'm, I'm going to say medium to full. I made the high end of the medium scale bordering on full at this point. Then again, I still have a good almost two inches of smoking to do yet. I've been in this for about 45 minutes already. And I've been hitting it pretty hard. Taking a lot of puffs. So it's, it's really lasting. And it's got great flavor so far. So I'm going to work my way into the final third. See what takes place. Back, let you know what happens. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back to the cigar area. With the Long Ash Cigar Shorty. Still burning almost perfectly straight. Obviously still producing tons of great smoke. But the flavors, once again, have changed in the final third. I'm kind of stunned. We started with a creamy cedar, followed by a, a baking spice on the finish. In the first third, that switched over to a deep leather with a cocoa finish. And now, here in the final third, we changed gears again. I'm going to a very rich, earthy, deep tobacco core flavor with a finish of, of dark buttered toast. It just, um, I'm stunned. That is, this is a flavor I haven't really picked up on before. I've picked up on bread and toasted bread already. But this this taste just on my tongue of, of dark, dark toast with butter. It's pretty amazing. This is a damn fine cigar. This, this, this particular uh, model, <laughs> particular Vitola, cost six dollars. This is a six dollar cigar, hand rolled in Tampa at the Long Ash Cigar Store. It rivals any premium cigar I've smoked. It's it's just burns well, it's tasty, it's got a complex flavor pro profile, uh, it's well built, I mean it's just staying together, there's, there's, there's no, there's no heat, I'm, I'm an inch, inch and, about an inch away from my fingertips, and there's no heat, it's just, it's just amazing, I'm, I'm blown away by these Tampa handmaids. Um, obviously, <laughs> it's going to be a 10 out of 10 on my scale. It's got everything you could ask for. Um, Time-wise, gosh, I don't even know how long I've been smoking this thing. Uh, about an hour and 15 minutes. So for a four and a half inch cigar that's not too bad and, and generally you know a, a short cigar like this at a 60 ring gauge does last pretty long but uh my suggestion to you you want to smoke a good cigar that's off the regular beaten track of you know all the names and brands that you recognize go to the long ash Cigar.com. Uh, Long Ash Cigar Company. Look on their uh, menu of different cigars. They have mild, medium, and full body. Uh, go through there, pick a couple out. Your best bet is to call, <clears throat> call them. 
call them on the phone, put in your order, order them over the phone. They ship them right out. Came packed in a, in a bag with uh, nice, moist, fresh tobacco leaves. Packing them in there. Nicely packed. Uh, to stay nice in that bag. Very well protected packaging. Uh, that came right away. Couldn't ask for more. So as usual, with a good cigar like this, I'm going to keep smoking it down to the finger burning nub. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm going to enjoy every minute of it, I'll tell you that. So thank you for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. Please check out my other videos on YouTube. And check out my website, thecigarareria.com. Enter my contest. Uh, check out the videos, all the links on there. A lot of fun stuff. And uh, check out Long Ash Cigars. Be glad you did. I'm glad I did. Till next time, happy smoking.